So here is my personal empty report. I did it through my husband, Sagi Kalev, and I just wanted to give you a tour of my empty report through my iPhone. I'm looking at it through my iPhone, and you're gonna see that it's actually very easy to navigate, and I'm gonna show you how to navigate it so you can get started right away. So I open up the link and you'll see your vital statistics. I'm not gonna click on it because that includes my home, my email, my address, and I don't want people knocking at my door. That's a joke. All right, as you can see, there is a getting started quick start guide. It's so, and I clicked on it already. It's so exciting because we, we have a plan on how to get started right away because the, the report is really dense. There are 29 downloads. So this is going to prevent overwhelm. So you click on quick start, right? Click quick start guide. Okay, step by step. And we're gonna, we're gonna have a step-by-step -step guide on getting started, right? So it says that our empty report is presented in a way, um, in the order in which we should use it, right? So there, there are different phases. There's phase one, your empty diet, phase two, your supplements, and then phase three and finally phase four. Well, today, in order to get started, you just need to focus on two things. You need to focus on understanding your MT report, right? So in order to get started, you're gonna start right here. Read your MT report. Now, you don't have to read all 29 downloads, you guys. All you have to do is start with the introduction and read everything up through phase one. But note that it says no further. So if you're one of those people that wants to read the entire report, you can go ahead. But I think a lot of people are getting overwhelmed because they think that they have to read the entire report in order to get started. So the next thing is reach read each of the downloads in each section through phase one again only in phase one in the order in which they, they appear. You wanna take your time and you don't wanna skip ahead. And remember, the greatest thing about doing the RMT report, the metabolic typing report, is that the support staff on Team Collab is amazing. So once you've finished reading this section, the introduction up to part one or phase one, you're gonna have a good background and understanding of what the MT program is. I'm doing, I'm reading this book on the brain um, and it involves meditation. This is just this little side note, right? So the book tells me that I should read the entire book before doing the meditation so that I can get the most out of my meditation. And I actually did. I read all 300 pages before I started the meditation and it did make a difference. Okay, the next step is to fill out your foundational metabolic processes self-screen. This is something that you don't want to skip. It's best if you do it on a laptop, so I'm not going to click on it here, but you want to do it on a laptop and you want to record your baseline symptoms that you have right now so that you can test yourself later by taking the same test in a few months. All right, guys, you are ready to get started with phase one. And this is the only other part that I'm gonna talk about, and this is what you need to understand in order to get started with your program. So where possible, you're gonna get off all drugs temporarily. Of course, you have to ask your doctor um, and you use your own judgment, okay? If you're using Beachbody supplements, you can continue with the Beachbody performance line, you can continue with Shakeology, not a problem. You want to get off all poor quality commercial processed foods. What does that mean? It means that if you're eating at Chick-fil-A, Chipotle, nothing against those places, but you know anything in a box, you don't wanna eat that stuff for now because it's processed, you guys. You want to get off all the wrong foods for your metabolic type. So 
if you look at your list of foods and let's say bananas are not on there for now you don't want to eat bananas because they are not optimal for your body okay so any food that's not listed in your mt plan you're not going to get you're not going to have the next step is to get on all the right foods for your metabolic type and so you're going to see that one of the documents that you have is your particular list for your metabolic type okay so you want to use quality organic whole natural foods and there's a great great i'm not going to click on it here but there's a great section that basically explains and it goes into details that if your answers if your ancestors did not eat that food you should not either so for example if you were an eskimo and you have a very high fat protein diet chances are that's the way that you're going to be eating okay and you want to use only purified food all right that's the first part so you've read up to the introduction you have gone shopping or you've looked at the list of foods that you should have and then the third section or rather the next part of phase one is carefully and exactly fine-tuning your macronutrient ratios at each meal what does that mean and it's actually super super easy okay i'm not going to go through all these little points but they're they're simple you guys so look once we that's it we're at the end of phase one once you reach that end of phase one and you fine tune what you should you are eating every day and what you should be eating you can use your color coded containers if you're using them I'm click on that right now so after every meal about an hour later you want to check in with yourself and see how you're doing how your appetite levels are how your energy levels are how your mind and emotion well-being um, are or is okay so you have good reactions and then you can have bad reactions okay you should be feeling good after you eat but you should do this after every meal okay so that is it and i wish that i knew how to backtrack so that i can go back um let's see if i can do this okay so that is the only thing that you are going to focus on for your first phase you are ready to get started i hope that this has given you an idea of what you a good idea a clear idea of what you have to do and how to get started so just click on your quick start guide you're going to have all the directions you do not need to be overwhelmed by reading the entire report all at once. So if you need to replay this little document or this little video, go ahead. You can get started right away once you read the introduction up to phase one. Go shopping for all your foods that are, on, or not all your foods, but the foods that you like on your list. Get off the wrong foods and start fine-tuning your macronutrient ratios using this what we call a DCR which is just your diet check record and you are going to do this till you perfect it before you move on to your next phase how exciting is that super simple I hope that this was helpful and I hope that you have the same wonderful experience that I have had using metabolic typing.